everybody. So this is my um, afternoon tea and spree vlog from the event in London that happened Thursday. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick overview of what happened and an unboxing of all my purchases. Uh, so let's start off with um, we had a hotel in Belgravia um, and everyone met there so it was really nice for everyone to get to meet each other. We I had little name badges made for everyone um, so people can't, we knew each other um, but sometimes names just go out the window and faces so it was nice that everyone knew <coughs> each other's names and kind of we were there for the event so that was really really nice. Um, uh, a couple of them had transport issues, bless them, with trains being cancelled, so, um, but everyone finally made it, so that was good. And, uh, and then I surprised them with our first trip, which was to Joe Loves. Um, our hotel was actually just around the corner, um, so it was really, really exciting to get around there. They just launched their Mandarin um, cologne, and so the shop was all decorated with that, um, which you can see in the pictures that I'll be posting. Um, <clears throat> it was absolutely beautiful. They closed off the shop for us, which was really, really special. Um, greeted us with um, Prosecco and orange juice, and um, it was just laid out, um, ready for us. It was absolutely wonderful. Um, so we kind of went in and uh, I had to go back out and meet the others that had just arrived. Luckily, they were only like 10, 15 minutes behind, so really, really good um, to get them there as well. And so we had the tapas experience um, where everyone was um, learning about the different fragrances that Joe Loves has. Um, they, uh, yeah, it was very, very busy. They were crowded in, uh, bless them, because it's only a small shop but everyone was enjoying themselves. There was a lot of sniffing going on and uh, people being painted with the, the lotions and um, it's really good. Um, I really like the Shards of Cedar. I couldn't remember, can't remember the full name, sorry. Um, that was more the most masculine scent I think they have. Um, and that was really, really nice. And then we went into the candle studio and they displayed uh, the the can shop candles process and different scents and everyone was trying out um, the different canvases and um, they have a new way of um, they paint one card with the scent and then they have another card which they paint and they slot together so you get to see what it's like together as a scent so it was really nice um, and uh, people started purchasing and I'll show you my purchase Da, 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 da. So this is unboxing number one. So it's amazing. They put my little name on the card here. They love their bows. They literally love tying things up, um, which is fun. But then you have to try and get back into it and undo everything. Oh, Lord. So do excuse me. It's a lot of bows. As you can see, here's another one. Um, but it's, it's fun, it's fabulous. So let's start taking things apart. There we go. <coughs> Tissue paper. And then we've got, um, these are all the fragrances they have. And then you've got how it works. So it's a nice little card there, which is really, really good. Um, you must remember, I'll use that to tell you which ones I've got. So this is my first one. Da. So I'll slide this bow off. There we are. And they come in this beautiful box. Um, you can see here that it's got the Union Jack perforated into the box. And then the Joe Love symbol there. And then that slides off. To reveal another box and then inside this box if I can get the lid off here we are is uh, you get the the card which tells you how to take care of the candle 
and then what fragrance you've chosen. So this one is, the base is um, Tahitian Gardenia. And let me tell you a bit about that. So I'll give you a bit more detail. So it's rich and identifiable. Um, I wanted this shot to capture Gardenia's elegant and deliciously creamy character. This is a truly exotic bouquet of intense, heady florals, evocative of warm summer evenings, where the night air is sweetly perfumed and feels almost magical. So that's the base, and then I put a shot of mango, which is soft, ripe, and juicy mango bursts into the air like an explosion of sunshine. Full of vibrancy and colour, this sophisticated and happy scent conjures up warm, bright days, eating sweet, succulent slices of mango al fresco. So I really wanted some summer scents, because a lot of my candles at the moment are all of the richer, darker um, scents. Um, so time to rejuvenate the summer scents. That's my first one. So it comes in like this and um, you get a lovely little ribbon that they stick over the top and then a cute little box of matches there um, which is really cute. I'll just show you if I can peel this off. So you take off the lid which is the glass lid there you get a seal here and then what you have is there's the shot so that's the base of tahitian gardenia oh, you can always smell mango in there already but it's yes just very fresh um floral I mean, and it's just beautiful, it really is. So it sits right in there. Um, once you start burning, it melts its way and starts combining itself as it goes down. And it is really, really, really amazing. I love these candles so much. Um, so that's candle number one. Let me just put that back. I like to put, back, put them back as they were. And then I'll get them back out again later. So then we have, just trying to keep things organized, number two. So I did treat myself. I got really, I wasn't really sure on what to go with because I currently have the um, charred lemon and uh, salted caramel, which is so delicious. I absolutely love that one, um, which, uh, one of the ladies Chifundo got, which is marvellous. So let's open this one. And this one is, I've got to remember. So it's paper whites as the base, which is, uh, this is Joe's explanation. My first job was a flower shop on Elizabeth Street and it was here I discovered and fell in love with paper whites. This pretty white flower shaped like a tiny trumpet sings with a scent of springtime. Um, and then the shot inside is lemongrass. I love lemongrass scent. This sharp culinary shot of fresh crushed lemongrass instantly, instantly infuses a room with bursts of energizing citrus laced with eucalyptus. It's so fragrant you can almost taste the aromatic blend of sweet and sour herbs that fill the air. It is just delightful. So I can't wait to light this one. And then it comes in there, you, so you get the red tissue, and you get the card, and uh, it's just lovely. I absolutely love, Joe Loves Candles. Um, so that's what I got from Joe Loves. I didn't get a scent because, um, and I think quite a lot of the ladies were the same, is that we're, we're so used to Joe Malone London, um, and knowing what we're going to smell, um, whereas Joe Loves is also new, um, the, the ingredients and um, just the, the different ones she has. So a lot of people were like putting quite a few on and then thinking I'm not sure which one to go with and um, were confused, but it's great that they've had that time to um, try them out so then, then they can order later on or return 
uh, to the store if they're back in London and just open themselves up to Joe Loves because it is incredible. Absolutely love it. It's definitely worth a trip yourself. Um, or they do a fabulous um, preview box so you get like 10 samples in a box. Um, so you could try them all out and then you have a gift card to purchase either the 50ml or 100ml bottle, um, which is a great way to get people introduced into your brand. Um, so that's my Joe Loves uh, trip. Um, we uh, were supposed to have a guest come uh, while we were there, but unfortunately she was busy with her book. Oh, which is so... It was really... a was so hoping it was going to happen. Um, she really wanted to turn up um, and come and meet us all. Um, but her book is, I think, overdue for launch. Um, so they're trying to get it finalised and I don't think she could find the time to come in and say hello, but which would have been the ultimate surprise. But hey-ho, next time, always next time. Um, so. Joe, if you're watching, please make sure you come next time, and I can't wait to see your book. Um, so, we finished at Joe Loves. We all had to jump into taxis and uh, head over to Fortnum and Mason's. Um, so, we got there a little early, so everyone had a little browse and uh, made some purchases, and then we went up for afternoon tea. Um, they sat us on two tables of nine, um, and gave us one person to serve. Oh, that wasn't good. Um, so it was very hectic for this poor lady trying to cater for 18 very hungry ladies, including myself. You could call me a lady. Um, uh, so it wasn't the greatest afternoon tea, and I think that's down to them really not being prepared for 18 guests. Um, it was busy in the restaurant, but I don't understand why they'd have one person to serve 18 people. Um, the sandwiches were delicious, um, and we could keep reordering, which we did. They just kept bringing plate after plate, um, because they're, they are quite small sandwiches, very light, um, and we were starving, so we were scoffing them down. Um, we had some beautiful scones, scones, um, that... Uh, we had lots of varieties of jam and lemon curd and the um, clotted cream, so it was really, really good. Um, but then the cakes were not so good. Um, so it was a very mixed afternoon tea. Um, I wouldn't go cause, back again because there are much better places to go, um, such as the Langham, which is perfection. Um, but everyone enjoyed themselves because we were just having a really good time laughing and joking and chatting and, um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, a lot of people took away like cake for, um, later and things like that. And then I'd done a bit of shopping myself in Fortnum and Mason's, um, which I got some Turkish delights. I'm not going to open everything. It's too much. Um, and then I got some of their marshmallows, which are yummy. Um, and then my absolute favourites are their Florentines. Um, so these are the milk chocolate ones, or they come in dark chocolate, or you can get a selection tin, which is dark and white. Um, but they are so good. Honestly, they are so, so good. Um, so I actually got two boxes of these, um, which will be delicious. Um, so that was Fort Animation, sorry about the noise, um, and so once we finished there, we headed to Jo Malone London, Regent Street. Um, so they had um, the stall decorated, which you'll see in the pictures, um, of all these buttons, and it was quite hectic, but um, mono, was it mono? black and white, um, or black and cream, so the Jo Malone colours, um, and it just looked fun, um, and it's by a designer called, oh, I think I've got it in here, um, I can't remember who it was, 
Um, let's have a look. One second. It was very odd. Um, I'm honestly, trying to get everything out so I can find out who that designer was, but I can't find it. Sorry. So it's Judy or Jody or some fashion designer. Um, I'm not sure who it was, but it was just for Regent Street. Um, anyway, we all went in, we had some more champagne or um, water, that sort of thing, and everyone was just uh, automatically going to their favourites and trying things out, um, have, getting things engraved, having hand, hand and arm massage, massages, um, and it was just fun. I was talking to the girls in the store, um, Amy and Haley, who I just love and adore, um, and it was just going really, really well. Um, so I was really, really busy just making sure everyone was having fun and, and talking to people, and, and then I realised I needed to buy something. But um, before that, Holly, uh, my friend, you all know, um, she was buying stuff as well, and um, they, gave, they had created these boxes for us. Um, so Holly got one and gave it to me. And the first one is this one. Um, so they embossed my initials in it. Um, and it's the crown with the buttons. It goes all the way around. Um, I just think it's super fun. Um, and add it to my collection of boxes that I have. Um, and then I got another one, which is this style, um, which I really, really liked. And that's that box. Oh, I don't have enough space all over the place. I got a biscuit. I forgot I had that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here's my name badge that we had made. Um, there we are. Oh, I also had coasters made because we were going for afternoon tea and I thought, I want to have a little coaster at home. Um, and then what's this? Oh, this is Lindy's, who unfortunately was working, so she couldn't make it. So I've still got it for next time, Lindy. And then I have my special box. Um, so this is the gold London Bridge, but I didn't have. Um, my initials on it again. This fun ribbon. And here we have, I'm just opening everything. So, um, as you can see, I'll just show you again. It's a lovely gold, um, hand illustrated, um, and normally I've got all the white boxes, so I love that I could get the black box and the gold, and I just think it's amazing. Um, and we all got given a gift box like this. Um, so let's see what I got. And I have I so should have done swapping at the cocktails. Um, Blackberry and Bay and the Neptune Blossom and Honey. So, um, so should have swapped. I forgot about that. Um, but yes, I have those, which is lovely. Um, so it's really nice that everyone got a gift box. So that was lovely. And then I got the bottle of Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. Um, I've got the dry oil and I've had it for a while and I've always wanted to get the cologne but just never found the right time because I bought everything else. Um, so it's great that I finally got this on my collection. I absolutely adore this scent. Oh, it's so warm. And a lot of people like these ones for the, su for the winter. Um, whereas I am going into more of my spring summer scents but I still love to put on a nice deep rich scent um, for especially for evenings or when you really just want a nice powerful scent for the day um, so that was my purchases in Jo Malone I only bought one um, because silly me left my Jo Malone voucher in Cardiff um, so honestly I'm so silly um, so I will be going into the Cardiff store to buy a few more things um, probably today and that will be the Red Roses Draw Liner it's by Martha Armitage um, I absolutely love them they look and smell amazing 
um, <clears throat> and something else. I'm not sure what else yet, um, but I'll post a pic whatever I buy. Um, so that's Jo Malone. Also, I had lovely Mary bought me um, over from Ireland because I thought we'd run out everywhere in the UK of the white jasmine and mint candle. Um, so I got her to pick me up one of those, um, which is great. So I can keep that one for special occasion. So I was getting, uh, I've got lots and lots of things. This video is going to be quite long. I do apologize and go as quick as I can. Um, so after we went to Jo Malone London, which was absolutely wonderful, they treated us so nicely. Um, just really, really good. Um, they couldn't close the store for us because it's their busiest time, uh, but we pretty much took over. Um, and it was just, just lovely. So a big thank you to the girls there. So um, we then went for cocktails, just around the corner of Gaucho's, um, which was really, really nice. Everyone got to sit down at last and relax and have a drink. But then the tiredness literally swept over uh, me and my mum and uh, so we had our cocktail and we headed back to the hotel um, and which was really nice because then we just sat around the table with Lisa and Tonya and Holly and we just had a good chat and uh, a giggle and then Holly ordered Domino's uh, and then we watched TV in bed and then I fell asleep. Oh. Um, so it was an absolutely wonderful day, a wonderful event, and I can't wait for the next one. Um, and then quickly, the next day, um, we dropped my poor mummy off to the um, train station. Um, bless her, trying to get through London. Um, uh, so, because we were going off shopping for the day, so we dropped her off at the train station so she could get herself home. and. Then we went to what I thought was the big Westfield shopping mall, um, which turned out to be the wrong one, because uh, I wanted to go to like Louis Vuitton and things like this. Um, and we'd gone the opposite side of London um, to the Stratford one, where I needed to go to the Shepherd's Bush one. Um, so we had breakfast to refuel, and then it was we didn't have long, so there's no point going all the way across London. So we went back to Harrods uh, because I wanted to get my favourite Lodere macarons. Oh, I absolutely love these. Um, normally I get eight, but I went wild and got 12. Um, I'll just give you a quick peek of how cute they are because they are just literally, it's worth buying just one, just so you know. Oh, come off. I hate sticky labels. Um, so here you can see my lovely macaroons. Oh, they're so yummy. Um, so we managed to grab them. And then I really wanted to get myself something special um, for my new job. <clears throat> so the plan was to get a Louis Vuitton belt. So we went to Louis Vuitton on Sloan Street shocking service absolutely Ugh. so we went in they said hello um i went up to the men's section no one was there um holly sat down i had a look round. 10 minutes later no one came upstairs and i was like uh, okay so i went back down and then another customer came upstairs uh, i went back down and they said oh yeah we're sending someone up i went back up again um and then this uh, lady came out and was confused who she was supposed to be serving so I just said oh I'm looking to buy a belt and she was like which one and I was like oh I don't know what what do you have and she goes oh we'll have a look on the iPad and I was like okay and I was like oh, I've had a look online and she goes oh so which one do you like and I was like well, which ones do you have I want to have a look um, so she just opened up their online shop so I was like oh okay I like that one and she goes, okay, well, do you want, do you want to have a like, look online? I was like, I'm in the shop. I want to have a look. I was like, do you have it in the store? And she goes, oh, I don't know. We have it online. I'm like, why are we going online? I came in to the shop to have a look. 
Um, and I was just, I was thinking, hang on, I've been here like 20 minutes now to, and I still haven't had a look at a belt. It's silly. It's like going into Tesco's and they're going, okay, yeah, do all your shopping online. No, you go into the store to do your shopping. Like online is if you're not at the store. Um, so I was just like, when I'm, you do that for shopping, you, I expect to be treated um, and get the best level of service. And it was not even standard. So I was like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to shop here. So um, I went to Prada instead because I know Prada do exceptional customer service and I love their products. So I thought I'd treat myself. And, uh, yeah, so I've gone off Louis Vuitton now. I'm tired of their their customer service. It was the same thing in Barcelona as well. It was more of a, a tourist spot of people browsing. So if you did want to buy something, you kind of forgotten about, um, which is silly. So the first thing I bought, I know I'm naughty, I bought two things. Uh, they always come in these little, gorgeous boxes, solid boxes with a tissue paper. And I've got a little Prada keychain because um, I've got new keys for work um, so I can hook them on and I don't have to carry uh, my other key wallet with me with everything else on. Um, so it's cute, it's got a little Prada on here, a little clip so I can put on my belt or um, just put it in my pocket um, which is great. There was another one that I liked, which was white with the porter man on it, um, which Holly loved and she wanted me to get it, but I love blue, I had to get blue. So I got that and then, and this one I got, comes in here, sorry, I'm literally building up boxes around me. So it comes in a beautiful dust bag I think you can all guess what it is now, the clanking sound. I bought a new Prada belt. So we've got here with the Prada and it's blue on one side, beautiful Spano leather, and then grey and blue, or just red, you know, grey and blue on the other side. And so it's reversible. Um, and I just think it's perfect for me. Um, so Dario, the guy who served me, was just amazing and cute, um, and uh, and it was just absolutely lovely, lovely to treat myself. So I'm super excited about my purchases, um, and I think that's it. Yes. Um, sorry, the uh, running out of battery. I'm going for so long. Yes. So we then then headed off, got the coach home, and I was pooped. Um, so that's all my purchases, that's everything. That was London at Afternoon Tea and Spree 2016, and it was wonderful. It went so well, I was so pleased, um, and I can't wait for the next one. Um, so thank you very much to all of those that came. It was wonderful to meet you all, and uh, I really, hope you can make the next one um, those who didn't come please make sure you're there next time it is a blast everyone is so kind warm friendly um, and we just had a wonderful time um, so please uh, any comments put them in the po in the bottom um, like and subscribe and share away and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend like I will with all my goodies and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.